Hello guys and welcome back for episode 5 of my FM21 beta series Rebuilding Barcelona. Today we have the opportunity to win our first piece of silverware with Barcelona as we enter the Spanish Super Cup at the semi-final stage. If we win in the semi-final against Real Madrid, we have a potential final a few days later against either Atletico Madrid or Valencia. Hopefully we can secure our first bit of silverware just before we go into the January transfer window and we can start spending some more cash. So let's get into it. <laughs> So guys, as I said in the introduction, we are going to start things off today with the Spanish Super Cup semi-final. We are about to take on Real Madrid in the semi-finals. If we go into this, we are taking on Real Madrid in the semi-final. As I said, the other semi-final is Valencia versus Atletico. And we will play that game shortly after if we are able to get past Real Madrid. Um, for you things in terms of housekeeping, last time you guys were with us, you would have seen us dominate Zenit St. Petersburg 9-0 at home in the Champions League. Uh, before drawing 1-1 with Cadiz in a very disappointing game in the league. Since then, things have been going pretty, pretty well. Um, we we still having a few teething troubles in La Liga, um, but we are definitely moving in the right direction. Back-to-back um, -back victories against Zenit, uh, sorry, back-to-back -back victories against Sevilla before uh, and Zenit uh, after the last episode. We then rotated in the Champions League uh, to take on Marseille. Uh, we lost 3-2. Uh, no real shame in that, but we rotated the side heavily uh, as you can see, no major players in that one. Uh, we then took on Getafe uh, and drew with them, drew with RB Leipzig. And then we've gone on a really, really nice run in the league, scoring quite a lot of goals. Uh, we took on Ibar, beat them 4-0. Uh, Huska 4-2. Uh, Sevilla, this is an absolute nuts one. We managed to absolutely pump Sevilla. 8-1 um, before taking on Atletico Pam Pamplona, which I believe is Osasuna. I really need to sort out the real name fixes here. Um, yeah, and we beat them 10-3. Lotaro Martinez in his last two games has scored 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12 goals in two games. Um, and just a quick nod to Lotaro Martinez. He is now a five-star rated player. Bearing in mind, we've got Messi in the squad. Age just 23. Lotaro Martinez is that guy. Um, he's currently scored 27 goals for me in 19 appearances. Um, he's over, well over, a goal a game in the La Liga. 14 appearances, 21 goals for the man. Um, that is obviously buoyed by his last few games scoring bags of goals. Um, away from that, though. We're about to move into the transfer window. I believe the Spanish transfer window has opened already. Um, and one positive from this is we were given a £35 million transfer boost uh, from the board, which is nice. Uh, hopefully it's because we're doing quite well. I'd like to think so. Um, but yeah, we're going to we're gonna try and invest that wisely and bring in some good players for uh, that figure. I think the, the main area that I really need to work on is I need a right back because Dest is exhausted basically all of the time um so without any further ado guys we will show you the team that is going to take on real madrid and here it is um to stegen's back from his injury and will play in goal he he is liable every now and again to a couple of um a couple of mm, couple of questionable mistakes um but yeah anyway we've got to stegen in goal dest um tt is playing alongside lengle a uh, junior furpo is at left back uh, Grimaldo's coming back from uh, injury and is not fully fit yet um and upa Meccano, again not fully match fit uh puig is going to play alongside de jong in the central midfield spots pedri at the inside forward on the right hand side uh messi in the attacking midfield spot in the middle coutinho on the inverted winger on the left hand side we're going to have um uh, Lataro Martinez, sorry, went completely blank there, up top, and we are going to get into this game against Real Madrid. As I said, we play in the Super Cup uh, in the semi-final stage. If we win in the semi-final stage, we advance to take on the winner of this game, which is playing right now. Valencia beat Atletico Madrid, so Valencia move into the final. If we beat Real Madrid, we will take on Valencia in that final. 
So then the game is here. We are ready to take on Real Madrid. We've not played them this season, so it'd be interesting to see how we get on. Um, I've already run you guys through the team for that game. To Stegen, Dest, Titi Lenglet, uh, Firpo, Puig, De Jong, Pedri, Messi, Coutinho, and Lataro Martinez. We've got options on the bench. We're allowed 12 subs, which is quite a lot. Um, Busquets injured, Trincao injured, and I actually need to change Dembele for Elena, and that is kind of where we will leave it. And um, we will submit this team and we will get into this game against Real Madrid. Everyone seems happy with the tactic now. They seem to have got that on board, which is positive. The teams are now warming up. Let's take a look at the Real Madrid team. They're not playing Courtois. They've got Militao, Varane, Ramos, Marcelo, Valverde is a very good player. Odegaard, Tony Cruz, Isco, Hazard, Benzema. I'd like to think looking at this on paper, I think we've got the better team. But going into the dressing room, outstretched arms. I want you to pick up where you left off last time. That seems to have motivated a few. Umtiti, uh, Puig, De Jong, and Coutinho, and Lataro Martinez, all motivated by that one. It's good to see Lataro Martinez motivated by that because, as I said, he is scoring bags and bags of goals. Let's take a look at and see how Real Madrid line up with that team then. Uh, Valverde sitting deep. Cruz, Odegaard in front of him. Isco on the wide right. I don't know how well he's going to get on there. He is going to be up against Junior Firpo, though. So let's see how we get on in this game. I'd love to advance into the final and be able to pick our first bit of silverware up. I think this is probably the more difficult of the two games, um, obviously coming up against Real Madrid. As Dest has the ball then, looks for Lataro Martinez, Ramos intercepts, Ramos already on a book in 14 minutes in, that's things you love to see, isn't it? Uh, Tony Cruz wins the ball off of nobody. Dest gets it, Puig, back to the American, into Frankie de Jong, who's got the most assists in our team by a considerable margin, I think. De Jong on the ball again, into Dest. Dest having a lot of the ball, early doors. Lotharo Martinez gets beaten to that one by Ramos. Ramos already on a booking with Lotharo Martinez running at him is just where I want to be. And oh my God, what a goal that is from Pedri. This is one of the players, this is... Pedri is basically the main reason I am more than happy to let Messi go at the end of the season. I really think Pedri is going to be that damn good next season. Gets the ball here, drives past his man into the penalty area, opts to shoot, um, and absolutely rifles it past the Real Madrid goalkeeper. 15 minutes in, and we take the lead in this Spanish Super Cup semi-final against Real Madrid. Low goal kick there from the, uh, straight into Benzema, who... Brings it down well into Hazard. Gives it back to Benzema. Back to the Belgian then. Running down this left-hand side for them. Desk goes across to apply some pressure. Wins that nicely, but Hazard's going to get the ball back. Delays the attack a little bit though. Back to Valverde. Knocks it down to Cruz. Tony Cruz has got Messi pressing him. And Titi wins that. And we re recycle the possession. Lataro Martinez is on this then. Got some space to run into. He's got a lot to do here. Gets past the first man. Into the penalty area. Cross comes over. No one's there. Coutinho picks this ball up, goes back to Junior Firpo, up the line to Coutinho, De Jong, Puig, Messi on the ball now, Lotaro Martinez, Messi's gone beyond him, can Coutinho get there? Coutinho can get there and Coutinho can score. Fourth goal of the season for Felipe Coutinho, a player who I am actually still trying to offload in the January window. He is on an absolute wedge and I would love to make way for him. Uh, and bring in another player on a lot less wages. Nice move again. Pedri with the assist. Goal and assist for him so far this game. He is playing out of his skin in this Super Cup semi-final. Take the goal kick short then. Into Umtiti. Finds Dest. Pedri on this left-hand side. Uh, on this right-hand side, sorry. Gets away from Marcelo, does he? Yes, but Ramos cuts across and intercepts that one nicely. Marcelo on the ball then. Up to Hazard. I think we're playing some some really nice stuff at the moment. We're scoring a lot of goals. Um, to be 2-0 up inside half an hour against Real Madrid, regardless of what competition you're playing in, I think is quite impressive and a testament to the team. De Jong on the ball then, finds Messi. Here comes Messi, goes past Valverde, gets tackled into Pui, uh, Pedri, Pedri, sorry, into the penalty area. Pedri fast, forces a decent save from Luna in there. And we have a corner. We are playing some superb stuff at the moment. Lionel Messi then swings this one in. Pedri wins the header which is rare because he's quite tiny, um, and heads over the crossbar. We're restricting uh, Real Madrid to just the two shots, none on target. We've had four shots and three on target ourselves. Um, so we are in control of this game so far. Eda Militao in the position, and that is a massive challenge from Junior Firpo. It looked like he won the ball, but we are going to VAR 
VAR in this series does not have a habit of favouring us. Have we given away a penalty there? Checking VAR. And the referee trots out and says... Let's look at the text commentary because that is quicker. He's, he's given a penalty. Good Lord, VAR. Come on, man. Who's taking this penalty? Hazard, probably, against Ter Stegen. Ter Stegen goes the right way and he pulls one back just before half time. Now, I hate to say that we're being hard done by by VAR constantly, but I don't know, boys. There was an aggressive challenge from Junior Firpo, but in my opinion, he won the ball clean. Clean as a whistle. Lataro Martinez doesn't win that header, loses out to Ramos there. Cruz gets it. Lataro Martinez, Pedri's got space to run into. Marcelo's committed a little bit. Ball over the top. Lionel Messi can get there and does. 12th goal of the season for Lionel Messi. Whew. We restore that lead almost instantly, actually, after that penalty. Well done for the boys for reacting in the right way here. Looks like they've changed their approach and they're going more attacking. Pedri, though. Nice ball over the top. Second assist of the game. Goalkeeper should definitely do better there. He should really come and get that. Messi, obviously, not going to miss from there. And we restore that two-goal lead going into this game. Pedri, he's played absolutely out of his skin already. Lataro Martinez on the ball. Back to Frankie de Jong. Out towards Pedri. Intercepted by Hazard. Marcelo goes long. To Stegen should get this comfortably. Goes back to Dest on this right-hand side. Pedri, we've had so much success down this side. De Jong, ball over the top towards Pedri again. Marcelo's going to get there into Valverde. They get the clearance, but we pick up that ball into De Jong. Back to Junior Firpo. Coutinho then this time. Ball again over towards Pedri. Pedri goes past Marcelo and then crosses it straight into him. Unbelievable scenes. Ball in. Latoro Martinez with the, with the acrobatic effort gets blocked. This is absolute one-way traffic at the moment. We are completely bombarding the Messi. Knocks it down to Pedri. Pedri on the edge of the penalty area. He's got the overlap into Dest. Dest hits it. Goalkeeper spills it. And Real Madrid get the ball clear. Dest goes round Hazard like he's not even there. Cross comes over. Lataro Martinez into Coutinho. 4-1. Come on, boys. Looks like we are going to the Spanish Super Cup final. And it looks like we're doing it in style. Four goals before half time again. We are conceding some sloppy ones. Um, I'm not going to hold that against them in this game because of the penalty. Dest goes round. That from Lataro Martinez to, to draw all the defenders in and then give it to Coutinho on a plate. 4-1 oh, at half time against Real Madrid. We go into the dressing room. Boys, outstretched arms. Delighted with your performance. Keep it up. Let's get into this second half. Sergio Ramos then onto the onto Marcelo in the left back spot. Who's had a torrid game? He's had to control Pedri and he's not been able to do it. Dest on the ball then into De Jong. Oh, misplaced pass into Cruz. Odegaard on the ball then got space to run into and does goes for the outside the left foot shot hits the crossbar on the way over. Interesting effort from Odegaard. My assistant has just come in and said that Junior Firpo has made a lot of mistakes today. Let's expand this one out. What is Junior Firpo's rate in a 6.4? We've got Jordi Alba on the bench, so we will make that change. On comes Jordi Alba. And let's see if we can shore up that left-hand side a little bit more. Coutinho then into Lotaro Martinez, into the penalty area. He's got not a lot with him. Can he go all the way? Hits it straight at the goalkeeper from a very tight angle. That would have been a superb goal, but it's not to be. Do I look at making some changes, resting some players for this game, the second game, as that does come in? Pretty quickly. I should have looked and seen how many substitutions I have this game. Um, obviously, we're going to give Messi a rest. Lataro Martinez, though, goes past. I don't know who that is. That other centre-back, I can't remember. Goes past Ramos, and that is a great block from Varane in the end. Into Asenjo, back to Militao. Varane, we intercept Odegaard into Lataro. Varane gets the challenge in. Oh, I thought that would have been a penalty. Messi to take this corner, then. Probably going to be one of the last things he does. Clear to Pedri, though. Into the penalty area goes Pedri. Good challenge from Marcelo. That one goes out. Benzema's able to clear. Uh, before this highlight happens, I am actually going to make some changes of my own. Pedri's going to go in and play that attack in the field role. We're going to bring on Ansu Fati to play on this right-hand side. We're going to make him a winger uh, on support. And who else is tired? Puig's pretty tired. So let's bring on Mariba. And that will be a lot unless I can make some more changes then. 4-1.
Ah, I can't believe it's 4-1. Ball comes over the top and Titi clears that. Pedri gets beaten to that. Lataro's pressing Valverde. Marcelo on the ball then into Valverde again. Out to Asenjo. Jordi Alba's massively out of position, but Asenjo hits that shot straight at Ter Stegen. It's a bit of a let off, but we are dominating Real Madrid here. They've changed their formation a little bit. They've moved their Eda Militao into a defensive midfielder. Cruz up Valverde. They bring on uh, Luka Jovic as well. They're, they're trying to go for it. And fair play to them, but I don't think it's going to work here. Carvajal with the throw in then into Asenjo. Three goal lead to hold on to. Back to Tony Cruz. Valverde, Varane. Real Madrid are moving the ball quite nicely, but we're just better, aren't we? Intercept that. Get yeah, some TT Pedri. Back to Mariba. Mariba's the fresher man. Out to Coutinho on the left-hand side. Ball goes over the top. Lataro Martinez, he's not going to get there. Lunin gets off his line. Varane against Lataro Martinez is a very good battle. Um, and even though he's not scored, I still think Lataro's winning that battle. And Sufati then. Ball up the line to Pedri, maybe. Lunin comes off his line this time. Shepherded by Ramos. And Real Madrid get the ball. Goalkeeper clears it though. We win the header. Second balls a massive. Pedri into Lataro Martinez. Is this his chance? No, that's another good save. Lataro Martinez still not scored in this one. Pedri, De Jong. Ball comes over. Ansu Fati. Mariba hits the crossbar and it goes behind for a goal kick. I cannot wait to see what the press reaction is after this game because, in my opinion, we've battered Real Madrid here. Throw in then at Dest. In towards Pedri. Doesn't get there. Valverde. Back to Asenjo. Ball gets cleared. Lengle is going to bring that down into Jordi Alba. Recycle the ball into Coutinho. We've got runners. Fatty's going. Fatty's one of them. Pedri's dropped deep. Can he get the ball in? Fatty. Oh, that's poor. He's gone for the shot there at a really difficult angle. Hit it well into the side net him. Our XG is over three. You'd love to see it. Coutinho on the ball now. Cross comes over. We're not really going to win that header, but it looks like we did. Ansu Fati out jumping either Varane or Ramos there. Um, let me think, boys. All in all, that is a superb, superb result. Pedri setting the world alight there for me. 8.3 for Pedri. Uh, goal and two assists, I believe. Coutinho with two goals. Uh, Messi as well. Um, boys, outstretched arms. Congratulations, you've dreamt in the final. No, I'm very happy with the result and how you played. Well done, squadron. So, we go into the final. We are triumphant in the derby. Zidane is bothered by that defeat. I feel distraught, as well you should. We're going to take on Valencia. That game is in three days. I'll be back for that in just a few seconds. So then, guys, we are ready for the final of the Spanish Super Cup. We are taking on Valencia in this game. We've also got games going on in La Liga as well. This is the starting 11. I've had to make a few alterations. Um, Grimaldo is going to play this game at right back. He cannot play right back, but uh, Dest is pretty tired. Mtiti is going to play alongside Lengle. Jordi Alba comes in for Firpo, who gave away that uh, goal last time out. Mariba and Pjanic come in to replace Puig and De Jong. Uh, and that front four just stays as is. Pedri, Messi, Coutinho and Lotaro Martinez. Obviously, I would rather play some of the younger wingers. Um, like a, like a Ansu Fati, but I think Coutinho justified his place with the two goals last time out. We will confirm that team. Grimaldo's disappointed to be playing uh, out of position. A lot of the team are happy. Uh, they are a little bit unhappy that we are a little bit fragile at the back. So, Silicon Vaz, Diacabi, uh, Gabriel Paulista, Jose Gaia, Victor Sanchez, Sawyer, Guedes, Shirashev, Gamero. Now, oh, Kevin Gamero, this, this guy again. Right, pump fist. Win the trophy for yourselves, but also for the fans. They've been magnificent. The team looked inspired. Messi's inspired. Lataro's inspired. Come on, boys. Let's get into this final. Let's pick up our first piece of silverware as Barcelona manager in the FM21 beta. Grimaldo then into Lionel Messi. Goes past one. Gets tackled by Victor Sanchez. And Shirashev is on the ball here. We've played Valencia already this season. And we absolutely battered them. And they beat us 1-0 down to a late, late goal from Kevin Gamero. As Messi goes on an unbelievable run here into the penalty area. Gets tackled by Vaz. Does he... Was a tight call. Blows for a foul. We are going to VAR. 
41 seconds into this final, we are going to VAR for a penalty review. Vass on Lionel Messi. We've got a whole crowd of players here waiting for the response. Here comes the referee and the referee says no penalty because of course VAR does not want us to have a penalty. Why would they? VAR goes against Barcelona. Right. This is exactly what um, Valencia did to us last time. They absorbed all the pressure and got that late, late winner with Kevin Gamero. We cannot let that happen today. They've cleared the ball then. Jordi Alba picks up the loose one into Lenglet, into Miralan Pjanic, switches the play out to Pedri, back to Mariba, into Pedri again. Lataro's there. Messi's around him. Pedri, Lataro, Pedri. Come on, into the penalty area. Pedri again. Oh, what a special lad Pedri is. I did have an email uh, before this game saying that Pedri is the youngest goal scorer in the Spanish Super Cup. Because um, he is a youngster. Nice little interchange here. Into Lotaro, holds it up. Into um, Pedri again. Goes past one with pace. And that is a cool, calm and collective finish for someone of his age in a cup final. Um, we've got the lead. We've scored against Valencia. We didn't do that last time. Can we hold on and pick up our first ver uh, first bit of silverware this season? Oh, come on, boys. Hold on to this lead. Potential first opportunity for Valencia here. We get that header clear. They get the ball back, though. Switch it out to Guedes onto this side. The Portuguese man is very left-footed. Jordi Alba goes and intercepts. Back to Vaz, though. Victor Sanchez on the ball. Back to Vaz. Back to Sanchez. We're, we're, we're pressing okay. Gamero on the ball. That's a nice pass into Guedes. Guedes. What on earth is Ter Stegen doing there? He's he's flapped at it. He slapped it for no real reason. It's a nice ball. A nice work. Gamero, lovely pass here. Shredding Jordi Alba. Guedes with the ball in. And what on earth has Ter Stegen done there? He's just palmed it into the path of the Valencia man. It's only their second shot on uh, of the game. That's exactly what they did last time, but at least we've managed to score this time. Mariba onto the ball then. Drives forward into the penalty area. Hits it straight at Sillison this time. Stegen's at a seven, and I feel he's at fault for that. Take this goal kick then. We go out to Grimaldo. Goes into Mariba. Up the line towards Pedro, who can cut inside. Gives it to Messi. Goes past one. Here comes Lionel Messi. Pass two. Pass Vass into the penalty area. Here goes Lionel Messi. Come on, Lionel. Who would want to sell Lionel Messi, hey? No comment. Lionel Messi, 13th goal of the season. Scored in the semi-final, scored in the final, picked it up just inside the Valencia half here. And look at him, turn on the afterburners, pass one, pass two, into the penalty area, zoops, past another one, drills it low, pass Sillison, and restores that one goal lead in this final. Come on, boys. Sillison takes it long towards Guedes. Guedes gets the better of Jordi Alba here. And Jordi Alba's bailed out by his pace, clears it long, uh, and here come Valencia again. Shirishev versus Grimaldo. We block the initial chance. Mtiti applying the pressure. Valencia still got the ball though. Messi up, up, <laughs> helping out on defence. Guedes, nice move into Gamero. Gamero out to Vass. Vass into the penalty area. Jordi Alba's absolutely clattered him. And we've cleared it. No VAR for that one. That, for me, was so much worse than the one in the semi-final. So much worse. But we've got this 2-1 lead. We're going into this half-time. Looks like Pedri's given everything he has. They're saying to take him off for Griezmann. I'd rather not. I'm going to ignore that as well. Lotaro into the penalty area. Oh, my God. 28th goal of the season for Lotaro Martinez. And we're not even in January. Um, absolutely buried it, showing what a very good striker he is. If you're starting a save with anybody in the top echelons of European football, go and get Lataro. Pedri with the assist as well. They're saying he's tired. Absolutely drills that pass Sillison into the, into the corner. Oh, boys, this is surely the first piece of silverware of FM21. We go into the dressing room, hands on hips. Very pleased with your performance. Keep it going, boys. Um, Pedri's tired. He's at an 8.1. He's scored again. He's got the job done. I've got I've got options on the bench. I'm going to bring on Ansu Fati again. We're going to change him into that winger in attack. 
We're going to confirm the changes, are we? Is there anyone else who's really struggling? Messi, Coutinho, a bit tired. No, I think, I think we're fine. Let's carry on with things as they are. We'll bring on Ansu Fati to play on that right-hand side for Pedri, who has been exceptional in this competition so far then. Ansu Fati on the ball then. He's got space to run into. Lotaro Martinez has gone wide. He's picked the ball to him, pinged it straight at his chest. Messi goes past one here. He's got Mariba in support. Goes to Ansu Fati out to the right-hand side. He's got Grimaldo behind him. Fati opts for the cross in towards Coutinho and they get that clearance. It's an opportunity here. Yep. And he absolutely <laughs> rinses him, TT Into the penalty area goes the Valencia man. Hits it straight into Stegen. Absolutely shredded him, TT there. Um, looks like Coutinho's knackered as well. So we're going to make this change. Um, Griezmann's going to come on this time. We're going to switch those two around. Ansu Fati then goes over this side to be an inside forward on attack. Griezmann also um, inside forward, also on attack. And I think that will probably be it. We'll maybe take off Mariba in 10 to 15 minutes if he starts getting a little bit tired as well. Grimaldo with this throw then into Lionel Messi. Ops to go towards Griezmann. Griezmann doesn't make the run. He's a player that I'm just so disappointed with, Antoine Griezmann. If not, I've not really given him an opportunity to play. Um, but every time he has played, for the most part, he's been pretty poor. Griezmann into Mariba, into Ansu Fati. And that is a great save from Jasper Sillison there. Uh, free kick has been given to Valencia regardless because it looked like there was an offside. But regardless, that was a very, very good save from the Dutch goalkeeper there. Messi also struggling now. So we will... We will make a change. And Puig can come on and play that attacking midfield role. I think Messi's done his job here. We've got a two-goal lead. I'm actually going to change from attack into positive. We still want to have the ball. We still want to be in control of things. But let's switch to a positive mindset and, you know, halt the horses a little bit and make sure we get this victory. 85th minute, 86th minute. We've got a set piece. Griezmann taking this. We go short to Grimaldo. Back to Griezmann. Can Griezmann do anything? Cross comes over. Lenglet's there. I don't know why my centre-back's all the way over there. Gets tackled by Vass, wins the ball back, back into Pjanic, back to Lengle. Can he cross the centre-back? Who knows? Into the penalty area, cross comes over. We get an opportunity. Lotaro Martinez gets a shot on target there, I think. But here come Valencia. We've already got one centre-back missing in action. He's got the opportunity to go out to the left. Valencia pull a goal back here. With three minutes to go. Mariba playing uh, and, and um, Titi are very tired. I kind of... I'm kind of disappointed that we've conceded that goal in the manner that we've conceded it. We go into injury time, though. Full time. This is it, I think. Have we secured the trophy? Yeah, let's go to the post-match. Let's watch this trophy being unveiled. All the boys go up there. Um, looks like we are securing our first trophy of the season. And that is the Spanish Super Cup. Drink it in, boys. And lift that trophy, pop off the fireworks. There it goes. The boys look ecstatic. The confetti comes down. We have secured our first bit of silverware as Barcelona manager. Bodes well going into this transfer window that we've managed to secure our first bit of silverware. Also, Coutinho playing quite nicely in these games is pretty good for us as well. Outstretched arms. Congratulations, boys. Enjoy these moments. Everyone's happy. We've secured the trophy. 3-2 in the end. It was closer than it should have been. Um, Pedri sensational again, as was Lionel Messi. We've secured the trophy. We win the Super Cup again. We've retained the Super Cup. Uh, reports on Grimaldo's progressing nicely. Border delighted with me. Um, you love to see it, really. Pedri inspires Barcelona to another win. Superb again, Pedri. Well done, sir. And just a little look at him. If you look at him, I think he can be the next Lionel Messi. Look at his versatility. He can play anywhere across that front three. He can play at central midfield. Things you love to see. Um, in terms of other games then, guys, we have uh, Champions League action. Uh, we are taking on um, Benfica in that first knockout round. It's a game that I think we are comfortable enough to win. Uh, so I will advance past that until the latter stages of the Champions League. We'll get the, we'll get the January transfer window done and dusted as well. And it's going to be a very interesting episode for you guys to see where we come back. That is it for today, though, guys. Hope you have enjoyed it. Hope you've enjoyed us lifting our first bit of silverware and a look at one of Barcelona's future superstars in Pedri as well. I'll be back tomorrow for another episode of uh, Rebuilding Barcelona. Hopefully, see you guys there.